Hey guys, good morning, happy Monday. So today's business networking tip is called How Your Dreams Big Enough. It's been some interesting times and I'm rolling out some new networking ideas and it's really funny to watch. If someone doesn't like an idea, they're like, nobody will do that. If someone likes it, everyone will do it. So it's kind of funny to watch that my friends are the voice of the people. You know, and I, my advice here guys is to be careful. Because often, you know, it's easy to get discouraged and be like, well, I asked a couple people about it and they all said it was a bad idea. I shouldn't do it. Well, if I listen to everybody, I wouldn't do anything. So let me give an example. We just rolled out some um, in-person speed networking events. So that's in Nashua uh, right now on the fourth Wednesday of the month. And when I first decided to go to that format, people were like, ah, oh, you shouldn't do that. You know, it's not gonna work. Well, they didn't, they didn't like it. They like traditional networking. Well, we did the first event last month, sold out. This event, I added seats, and it sold out two weeks ago. Obviously, there's a market for it. But it would have been easy for me to say, well, I bounced it by a couple of people, they didn't like it, so I shouldn't do it. So be cautious of that. My joke is I half listen. If you, you know, like, hey, you know, this is what I think, I'm like, okay, why do they think this? You know, is it legitimate? You know, sometimes if it's technology or the structure of something, maybe some value in it. But please don't get discouraged because somebody thinks it's not a good idea. You know, I joke, you know, sometimes maybe you just need better friends you bounce some things by chuckle chuckle. But you know, there's two things here. First, be cautious with your opinions because you might be crushing somebody's dreams. You know, so just again, just because you won't do it, don't be like, ah, it's stupid, no one's gonna do it. Because, it, you know, it could hurt a legitimate idea. But also guys, you know, you gotta have faith in yourselves. You know, I see I see some things in networking, I see some opportunities, and I'm doing them. You know, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm doing them, you know, because I believe in, in the idea. So don't get discouraged, be cautious with what you think. You know, I see this when I teach at the university. So last semester I was lucky enough to teach entrepreneurship. And it was interesting to watch because each group had to come up with an idea for a good uh, service. And I caught myself a couple times, they tell me something like, you know, I don't see it at all. But you gotta remember, you got some generational things going there. I'm much older than they are. So just because I may not see it, I feel like, you know, people my age might not like it. That wasn't their target market at all. So you gotta kind of look at it that way. It's interesting, one of the things I learned at the university, at least with the people I've spoken to, my students, is they're not big on, you know, like, you know, um, smart watches or Alexas, things like that. They're like, they just don't see it where a lot of people my age love those things. So see the difference? You know, if you're talking to that generation, maybe like, nah, we don't see it at all, versus, you know, people my age are like, oh, I love my smartwatch. So sometimes it's just, you know, some things like that. But guys, you know, don't be discouraged just because a couple people don't like your idea. To me, you know, go and try it, you know, listen, like I said, half listen, you know, is there something that's valuable there? But just because somebody's you know doesn't believe in the dreams I'm chasing doesn't mean I'm not going to chase them. So you know, like I said, that's the thing here today is are your dreams big enough? If you're going to just step back every time someone criticizes you or says oh you can't do that, when I hear that you know the trigger goes off. Challenge accepted, you know. And there's times that yeah I have been wrong, and there's going to be more times that I'm wrong. But there's been a lot of times I've been right too. So just give some thoughts to that on both sides. You know, don't let people discourage you. And also be cautious with your words. You know, make sure, you know, especially if it's a younger person, that you're not sitting there saying, hey, you can never do that. And they may take you as an expert and say, well, that guy thinks I can't do it. Maybe it is a bad idea. Because you might be crushing someone's dreams. So that's today's business networking tip. As always, guys, I hope it helps. Let me know your thoughts on this. What do you do when you're trying to do something and someone's like, hey, I don't think it's a good idea. You know, do you let it get you down? You know, what happens here? And also, tell me about your experience in this area. So if you want to come to events, as I mentioned, um, we can find them at friendsofkevin.com. So we're going to be over in Drake at this coming Wednesday night over at Town Hall from 6 to 8. Uh, the event in Nashua is sold out. That's a speed networking event. It's the fourth Wednesday of the month, 6 to 8. If you're interested in either of those events, well, the first one, jump in and register. The second one, if you have an interest in speed networking, we are taking a wait list right now in case some people can't make it, so shoot me a message on that. But you can find all the events at friendsofcabin.com as well as newenglandb2bnetworking.com. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a truly dazzling day.